Okay. Okay. So, I just got back from watching The Rise of Skywalker. And I'm actually going to do this while I'm driving home, by the way. Um, it was interesting. <laughs> it was very interesting. I think if I knew more about Star Wars lore and, like, I guess if I was a more hardcore fan, I'd be a little upset about the way the story panned out, but just looking at it as a person who loves Star Wars but isn't super into it, it was okay. It, it, was, it wasn't terrible. I think visually, it was stunning. Visually, the 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 movie looked amazing. Uh, there was a lot of a, a lot of really nice shots, um, lightsaber fights. Uh, they got an issue there. <laughs> well, I I guess it, it looks okay, but the problem is it, it's just not how you fight with a lightsaber. They don't know how to do it. You don't use a lightsaber like it's a freaking hammer. Okay, you don't just, or, or like it's a, it's a giant sword. It has like more than two edges. You can swing at it at any angle you possibly want. You don't have to treat it like a sword. It's a light saber. Okay, we'll go on lightsaber rants later. Uh, the, the story, I thought the story was okay. I, this spoiler alert, I don't care. Uh, I don't... I don't know. I don't understand their choice to have Rey be the granddaughter of Palpatine. I didn't really understand it. I don't know. Maybe it was the right call. I'll have to ask JJ if I ever get to meet the guy. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what to think of the story. I don't know if I should really like it or really hate it. Because I didn't hate it. I didn't hate the movie. I, I watched a lot of videos, and I got a lot of reactions from different people just hating on it. And saying, man, I'm so disappointed. I can't believe they made this decision. I can't believe they, they chose to go this way. And honestly, I didn't hate it. I... I did actually enjoy it but I do feel like the the story was a bit strange in, in the way that they the, the the way that they decided to go with the story I'm trying to think through everything that happened I had to pee the entire time uh, so I wasn't completely in it but most of the time I was a lot of stuff in the first half of the movie seemed to happen very quickly like they they didn't it, it seemed like it was rushed they it was like oh we we have this problem oh here's the solution oh we have this problem now oh here's the solution it's right here in front of me it just it seemed like they had to cram two movies into one i i think i had heard that jj abrams kind of had to do that like he had to he had like multiple ideas for movies and his vision and uh, Ryan's vision were different you know um, his his version of where he wanted the movie to go was a little bit different than uh, what Ryan Johnson did with it uh, so he had to like he had to find a way to make it somewhat coherent I, I found myself watching the movie and a lot of times going what the heck something happens and I'm like what the frick what is that it was, it's like um, it, it didn't make a lot of sense a lot of the stuff just hit me out of the blue like wait wait what what and uh, yeah I, I, I don't know it, it was it was interesting what did I like about the movie just quickly going over pros and cons <laughs> I enjoyed the visual styling. I thought near the end, with uh, all of those ships that show up to kill all the, it's just the uh, Star Destroyers, that looked 
freaking sick. That looks so cool. I was sitting there in awe, like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of spaceships. <laughs> it looks really good. It looks very good. The um, scene in Palpatine's uh, throne room or whatever, whatever that giant thing was, uh, when, like, Rey uh, ultimately destroys him and all the stuff starts crumbling down, that looks amazing. Uh, I thought that looked really good. Cons, I feel like they did a lot of fan service. Like, so much fan service, I'm like, am I just watching other, they just steal dialogue from all the other movies. I mean, I'm not one of those, I'm not one of those people to be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she said the thing. Oh my gosh, Han Solo said that, oh my god. I don't care. Like, I guess it's, it's kind of kind of cute or whatever. I don't know. I guess it's it's kind of cute to, for him to say the thing, for for uh, Leia to say the thing, for Poe to be like, for uh, Billy D. Williams to be like, I got a bad feeling about this. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick. It's so cute. Like, it's not that big of a deal. It's really not that big of a deal. Uh. I apologize for the lighting of this video. I know it's terrible. I, I don't have anything else. I can't think of a ton of other stuff that really hit me as stupid or strange. A lot of stuff, like I said before, a lot of stuff was rushed. Um, I felt like they tried to make two whole movies worth of stuff into one. They introduced many new characters that we'll probably never see again. I'd like to see more of. There was a couple of uh, characters that I might like to see more of in future movies. Um, overall, I didn't hate it. I really didn't hate it. I'm not. I'm not a hardcore Star Wars fan. I don't like freak out over every new Star Wars thing that comes out. I don't have action figures all over my wall. I got a Star Wars poster. Uh, I got a lightsaber. I got a Force Effects lightsaber. Uh, just because I think it looks cool, and I, I mean, of course, it's because of Star Wars. Um, but, it, like, it didn't infuriate me. I think a, a lot of, like, hardcore, like, people who have been super dedicated to the Star Wars story, they were a little disappointed in the way the, the story played out. And I can respect that. I understand that. Um, I understand, like, you get attached to certain characters, and when stuff weird stuff just happens it doesn't make sense for them to do that it's kind of it's kind of strange um but I, I i don't know i'm trying to think of stuff that made me mad about the movie but i really can't think of anything I sat there and i got it fed into my eyes and my ears and I didn't really get mad about any of it. I, I enjoyed a lot of it. Oh, when, um, I don't think Leia should have been alive throughout the whole thing. And then I was, what really, I, yeah, that's right. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. <laughs> what really stood out to me as strange was I didn't know Leia was a Jedi. I was like, wait, what, what? Why does she have a lightsaber? What is she, what is she doing? I didn't know she was a freaking Jedi. I was like, what? I, I, did I miss something in The Last Jedi where she, she was training? I knew she used the Force to save herself from the icy death of space. I mean, she should have died there. But I didn't know she was a Jedi. Did I miss something in The Last Jedi? Maybe I did. But... I don't ever remember anybody saying Leia Organa was a freaking Jedi. Like, what? And then you see her, her and Luke training in the, uh, in the, in the forest or whatever. It's like, what is this all about? When did, when did that happen? What the heck is that? And, uh, yeah, as soon as, as soon as, uh, Luke... Luke's force ghost was like, 
uh, here, there, here's something my sister would like you to have. And then pulls out the brick, and she pulls it out, and it, he's like, this is Leia's saber. Leia's saber? What? Le what? Jedi? What? Like, I didn't know, I didn't know Leia was a Jedi. I was like, what? Didn't, didn't make a lot of sense to me. I, I guess they had to, to make, the, I guess they had to create a way for, uh, for her to have two lightsabers at the end of the movie. I don't know. That, that didn't make a lot of sense to me there. It just, it, it didn't make sense. Maybe I missed something, but it didn't make sense, uh, at all. What else made me mad? I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking of stuff as it comes to me. Yeah, visually, stunning. I thought it looked really good. Camera shots I thought were amazing. I don't even know anything about cinematography at all. And I thought it looked really good. Uh, lightsaber fights were kind of dumb. They didn't know. They, they could have... They were just showy. They were really showy. Like, the prequels lightsaber fights were very showy, yes. But I felt like they were showy in like a really cool way, like like a very elegant and cool way. But in this movie, it was it's like it, it's just flashy and it's a little clunky sometimes. When uh, Kylo Ren or Ben, if you want to call him Ben now, because he's it, it just some some of the fights between him and Ray, I felt were a little a little strange. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I felt like some of the lightsaber fights could have been choreographed more interestingly. But it, it wasn't terrible. It, it looked it looked okay. Just just okay. I mean, I I feel like it should have been a lot better. But it was okay. Lightsaber fights were okay. Choked on freaking air. Finn. I thought he, the guy who played Finn, acted really well. I thought the acting was was pretty pretty good. Well, no, not pretty good. It was it was very good, very good acting. I don't know. Um, Daisy Ridley, I believe, is Ray's actor. Is the actor who plays Ray? If I'm not mistaken, uh, I felt like her performance was very well was done very well. You don't have to agree with me. That's fine. But I enjoyed it. I thought she made a good performance. I thought Adam Driver had a really good performance. Um, uh, I don't know the guy who plays Finn. And I don't know the guy who plays Poe. I don't know his name. Uh, but I felt like they both did a good job too. Leia, I, I, I sometimes, I, I know that of course, Carrie Fisher has passed away for some time. Has been has been gone for some time. Um, but I I couldn't tell if some of the shot if some of the shots of her were CG or real. And I don't know if it's because the CG was so amazing, or if that was actually stuff they had shot before she died. I'll have to look that up later. Uh, but some of it, like, if it was, if it was CG'd, it was amazing. And, like, wow, how did they get these close-up shots of her face that looked so dang good? Uh, but if it was just, if it was just shots of her, then fine, whatever. That's cool. Uh, couldn't, couldn't really tell. I'll, I'll have to look that up later. Uh, I'm lazy. I'm not going to look into it that much. <laughs> minutes okay well I don't really know what else to say um, overall I didn't hate the movie but I didn't love it I love the way it looked uh, oh the, some of the dialogue some of the dialogue wasn't very good I felt like in the beginning when they would like repeat stuff in a quirky way I, I don't know I to me the second half of the movie was better than the first half just visually and storyline and dialogue I felt like was better in the second half uh, first half I felt like a lot of it was 
kind of clunky. I didn't like the dialogue in some of it. It felt kind of cheesy. Uh, it felt like the, the cheese meter was hit max sometimes. Uh, other than that, if you don't care much about Star Wars and you just want a fun action action movie uh, that your kids can watch and that has a decent plot and somehow kind of makes sense. It's just a, a fun action movie. It's not, I, I guess it's kind of fun. You'll, you'll probably like it. But if you're a really hardcore fan of Star Wars and you love the lore and you dive into it and you have a connection with all of the characters, then you might be disappointed. You, you might be disappointed in a lot. I'm sure most of those people who care about the... I, I think most of the people who are that dedicated to Star Wars have already watched the movie by now, by the time this, I've put this video up. Uh, so I'm really not talking to them. I'm really talking to the people who just are slightly interested in Star Wars and are curious about why there's so much controversy surrounding this movie. So, yeah, if, if you're in that crowd and you just want a fun movie to watch, I think it's great. I, I think it's a perfect movie for that. Well, not perfect, but it's okay. And if you really care about Star Wars and you, you really want the story to be coherent, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, so, there's my two cents. Overall, if I had to give it a score out of 10, uh, I don't know, I'd probably give it, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. Just, just because I thought the acting was done very well. I, I, just me personally. I'm not a critic. I don't know a lot about acting. I don't know if it was objectively very good or not. But from a certain point of view, it was pretty good. Uh, that's just, that's my opinion. Uh, love it, hate it. I mean, you can't be like, love it or hate it. Star Wars was, was, you gotta admit, Star Wars was pretty cool. Love it or hate it, Star Wars was pretty cool. You can't say that. It, it's all, I think, a matter of opinion. There's gonna be a lot of people who love Star Wars and have no problem with it, the, the new movie. And there's gonna be a ton of people, and there is a ton of people now, who just despise the movie and wish it had never been made. To bring back Palpatine from the dead, the first time I saw him in the movie, I was like, oh, why isn't this guy dead? It's like you should be dead. Why? Why are you not? Why? Why are you still alive? He should have been dead. Um, so that that was kind of annoying to have that. That's just. I think that's how a lot of people may go down in this movie. They just may say, I don't have a lot to say. I don't have anything to say. It's just I either really liked it or I didn't like it at all, and I thought it was dumb. There may be a lot of people like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me... I'm sorry, I'm trying to back up. Oh, frick. Almost hit my dad's car. Jeez. And I'm still too close. Ah! I can't drive. I'm like a woman. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut that out. Don't, don't leave that in there. Landon, please cut that, cut that joke out. The Rise of Skywalker. Good movie, bad movie, um, it's kind of up to you. It really is. I didn't hate it. <laughs> I can't say I loved it. I can't say I loved it because I felt like it had a lot of flaws. The storyline I felt like had a lot of flaws. I don't know enough about Star Wars to go into detail about the, the story and stuff and how why. I, I don't know. I say that a lot because I really don't. I, I really don't know. Maybe, maybe after a couple days of thinking about it, I'll draw a solid, concrete opinion. But as of an hour after leaving the theater, I don't really know how I feel about it. I again, it looked amazing. I'm gonna. I've said that a lot uh, in this video. I thought it looked amazing. I thought the visuals were very good. The CGI. There wasn't a bad part of the CGI at all. I thought it looked very good and very well done. Overall, I think it's a good experience. Just 
just if you don't think about it a lot, if you don't think about why the movie doesn't make sense, it's a great movie, I feel like. If you don't think about how the the movie relates to the other two movies and how the characters relate and how the the there's inconsistencies in the storyline, if you don't think about any of that, it's a great movie. But if you dive deep into the the story of the movie and what they chose to do with the characters, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. That's uh, really all, all I can think of. I, I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, you want to like and subscribe? All that bull crap. Um, I might try and make more music. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, because, of course, school doesn't start back for me until the 13th. There's a basketball game on the 13th that I have to play at uh, in the Spirit Band. So I might see some of you guys watching there now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I might try and do some stuff if i got some free time, uh, if I'm not working a lot in the next couple of weeks. So <coughs> thanks for watching. See you guys later.